Ladies and gentlemen, I'd first like to thank all of the panelists that have come forward today to discuss ways of caring for our sacred property, our sacred ways. In closing, I'd like to share with you a shuiyim, which is a word for a sacred story that, that imparts ways of, of living, ways of surviving, and then a song that goes along with it. It's the story known in English as the story of the young lady who transformed into a wolf. Ni wachheed wahalith akatmi Ni wahalithal watach smed at a shkotlakwaas Ni wachwakakli to shkotlakwaas Ni wachnebastuch akatmi sa elich at a smed sinyuta Schutterfeit, <laughs> Tells of a young lady who lived at the base of a mountain 
living with her were her brothers, who were the last family that she had remaining on the world. When the family became hungry, what the brothers would do is send their sister up onto the mountainside into the woods. From there she would chase deer down the mountainside, out into the pastures, where the brothers would be lying in wait, and they'd shoot the deer, butcher them, and take them home for their table. And they continued in that way for a long time, but all was not well. The sister was very sad, and the reason that she was sad was because the brothers never showed her respect for her contribution to their hunt. And so one day, just before the sister disappeared into the woods, she turned and announced to her brothers, this will be the last time that I'll help you with your hunt. And the next time you'll see me, I'll be in the form of a wolf, and you'll not see me again in human form. Her words turned out to be true that day. When she emerged on the heels of the deer, she was in the form of a, of a wolf, and she turned on her heels and disappeared back into the woods, and her brothers never did see her again in human form. These Shwayem, Shwayem, they teach us life lessons. They teach us many things within one story. Different people listening to the stories will, will draw different lessons from them. One of the ones that we can draw from this one is the importance of respect amongst ourselves. But more than that, what I discussed in the prayer at the opening of the morning, also respect amongst those brethren that share the earth with us. And even further than that, I mentioned that our people have always regarded those brethren as having souls just the same as we do. But it goes beyond them. It goes to all of the living things on the planet, the trees and the plants, as well as the planet itself and the waters that course over the planet. And the respect for all of those things is of primary importance in our traditional point of view. And so again, I thank the panelists for the discussions that they brought forth today. And the organizers for bringing this together as a step towards bringing ourselves back to those respectful practices. I'd say, the song that goes along with the story has two parts. It starts off slow and mournful in the beginning. And this is when the young lady is still suffering at the mistreatment of her brothers. And later it speeds up and becomes more joyful. And this is after she's transformed and is freed from the mistreatment of her brothers. Oh, oh, oh. 